Hey there, and welcome back, and if you're new, welcome in. So, for today, I'm going to be raising Alhatham, because, uh, why not? So, I've had him for maybe, I think it was his last banner. I wish for him, got him, and I was like, nice, but I have yet to level him up, so that's what I'm probably going to be doing. So, for now... Let's just get started. Thank you. Oh. So it wasn't a one time old. I think you were more excited than me about it. And with that, he is now level 80. Although, let me just collect these real quick. Now then, we shall go straight for his skill. Although, I think I might be short by one. So for now, I'm just going to go for his skill and burst. So let's get started. Now we go to the skill. Although I don't think I'll be able to raise up his normal attack. Hey, Jesus, normal attack, but that'll be fine, maybe. Also, although he's a main DPS, unfortunately, I'm technically one of these short, which as of recording, it's. Wednesday, so it just passed, so I can't level it up. But it, it it's it it's fine. But what you call it? So that's that for his skills. I'll probably raise up his normal attack later. Although for the web, actually no, skip the weapons. We'll go for the weapons later. Artifact set. So first we're gonna try out the dendro set. So for the flower, we got HP, bloom, attack. As for the sands, we're going to go for attack first, although he's recommended to have a lot of EM, no? Uh, I was... On second thought, we shall have elemental mastery instead, although I'll be losing some crit damage, but we'll see how it goes. Oof, that's rough, buddy. So we'll go for that. As for the weapons, ooh, first things first, we're gonna try out Iron Sting, and then from Iron Sting, we're gonna. I, I have yet to level this one up. Apologies, but that's how life be sometimes. We're gonna go with EM, so more EM to see how much damage he does, and then from there, we're probably gonna switch with Jade Cutter, and then maybe even try out. Miss Splitter too. So, for now, let's go here. So his current status is twenty five thousand four hundred seventy nine for HP attack. We got oh that's low. That's very low. Uh, it's gonna be one thousand with ninety seven defense. We got. 782 elemental mass or EM technically we got 391 crit ratio we got ooh, 43 and then crit damage we got 109 EM we got 122 dendro damage boost or bonus technically it's going to be 83.2 actually I'm going to switch out one of these pieces I ended up taking her Tal's pieces, so a bit more crit damage. Crit rate's about the same, though. And his attack actually went slightly up, although I believe his HP did too. So for now, we'll go with Iron Sting. And for the team I'm going to be trying out, it's going to be pretty much... I got Xingxiao, 
for constant hydro application shinobu because well technically it's going to be the f2p version and then from later in the video we are going to try out higher or more whale-ish type characters and then we got kakomi so no one dies although technically cookie works too since she's also a healer but just in case also for the additional hydro so let's give it a shot Oh yeah, I didn't mention his attacks, huh? Alright, so he has a... I believe it's a constant... 4 normal attack? Jesus Christ. What in the... So a normal attack is a... 1, 2, 3, and 4, I believe? As for his skill, he's either able to press it or hold it. So, press. Although the cooldown is extremely long. Which I don't really recommend, honestly. I miss. I didn't miss. Then you can hold it, although holding it gives you more mirrors, which normally you want. I honestly have not been keeping track. Damage wise, not bad, not bad. Although, I was kind of explaining so I wasn't keeping track but so far yeah just, just normal attacks one two three four consecutive normals we have the tap which kind of he's like kaching if you haven't had good I'm pretty sure you know who kaching is but just the dendro version when it comes to the skill of course as for his Q I, I'll just show you his Q right now so we're going to give it a second run. This time, I'm going to keep track of the damage. Hopefully. And see what his highest damage output is for this current build. Oh yeah, as for the more mirrors he has, technically, the more... Oh... The longer his burst technically lasts. That's fun. Oh, that didn't get off his skills. Or his burst, I should... Jesus. I miss. Are you serious? Oh, you got me. Okay, there we go. I might have to work with this energy recharge, honestly. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. But honestly, I don't think he's he's doing consistent damage, which is shredding. On top of that, it's constantly reducing their dendro resistance. So this time, we're trying out Gilded Dreams. Well, due to me not having a plume for gilded dreams i won't be able to do the whole gilded dream set but i'll probably do one for a future video and try it out but for now we're going to go with the two piece two piece two gilded and two deep boots so i get additional the additional 15 dendro damage and on top of that 80 elemental mastery so for the weapon i'm just i'm just gonna just I'm just gonna go straight for Miss Splitter and just see how it goes, honestly. 
I was thinking about going for which I'm calling it Freedom Swarm, but chances are I don't think the passives is gonna work well with him. The EM's there, but I'll skip on it. So I'll just go with Miss Splitter for the one. It's a good crit stick, which is honestly nice. So for now, his stats are 19,511. His attack is now 1,429. Defense is 826. EM is now at 456. So for his crit damage, or dendro damage, we're at 103. Energy recharge, we're at 102, although we're probably going to add, I'm going to be switching in a dendro character to make up for the energy recharge. As for the crit ratio, we got 40 over 192. I was thinking about switching a different piece, but as things are now, I don't think I'll be able to. Unless there's a hidden good piece that I don't know of. But it will. So for this team, I ended up switching Kokomi for the Dendro MC. So let's let's give it a shot this time. Let me try my so this is still a technically F two P friendly. Honestly, it's first class in a long time right there. Jesus. The burst is about to end. His burst isn't halfway ready. Do one more. Whoa, there, buddy. This is burst ready. Uh, I'll probably get it in a bit. So let's just get started. Let me get his burst before he dies. Did I see a 30k? could probably use a bit more ER, not gonna lie. His damage is still really good. Oh, by the way, Constellation C0. Forgot about that. So I ended up finding a piece, well, a plume, that was somewhat leveled up but not fully, which honestly increases his crit damage by like maybe 5.4-ish percent. He loses EM, but he also gains a little bit more uh, energy recharge. So hopefully that small percentage can help out. So we're at 40 over 198 energy recharge from what? I think it was 105. We're now at 111.7. Dendro damage decreased by, I'm going to say, like 8% maybe. But even then, it should be fine, perhaps. But we'll give it one last go. Oh, as for the characters, as for the team, I should say, we're gonna, I guess, go a little all out this time. So for the team, I'm go, I'm gonna be switching Xingxiao for Yulan. Cookie for Raiden and Nahida. Pretty much for now. Actually, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave it like that. I just need to make sure I don't, no one dies. And just hope for the best. Honestly, I just probably need to dodge here and there. Aside from that, it should be fine. Also, I'm bringing back EM Raiden, so. Oh, 
Oh. Wait, that was it? Oh. Uh, how much EM does he have? He has 600 now. Danger of damage. We're back to 103, so that made up for that. Uh, it, uh Okay. Uh, <laughs> honestly? Is okay. Overall, good unit, constant damage giving. So that's about it. Although hopefully next time I'll be able to try out the whole Gilded Dream set since I'm, supposedly it's his best in slot. So, but that's about it. If you ended up enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And until next time. Later nerds, take care.